Tying down a kite is really quite easy, but it can be made even easier with this basic piece of equipment. All you need is a length of line. I've got here about two and a half meters of 500 pound Dacron kite line. And all you do is tie the two loose ends together with a simple overhand knot. Pull that knot tight and what you've got then is basically a simple kite anchor. You can fold that up, put it in your pocket, take it wherever you go flying and you're all ready to tie down your kite. I'd recommend you um, melt the ends of that with a lighter or a match just to stop it from fraying. Don't set fire to it though. When you get where you're going to fly, find a suitably solid object to tie down to tree, a fence, a lamp post, whatever. Put the line around, put the knotted end through the loop and then you're all set to tie off the kite line to the knotted end of the anchor. Then you get your kite in the air, get it up where you want it, bring it to the anchor, make a loop in the line, make a lark's head knot which I'll show you later, Put the knotted end of your anchor through, pull the line tight, and let go. And there's your kite, all secure. It's really as easy as that. I use this method for all my kites, and that includes things right up to the 46-foot mega fish, which pulls like a train, and never have any problems. It's as secure as could be. As long as you've got it tied down to something solid, you're not going to have a problem. Here we've just got a, an 11 foot delta on 150 pound line, so not really very much at all. When you want to take it down, just slacken the line and it comes undone very simply. Now, you might think having that double line, you've got twice the strength, but you haven't because you've got a single point there where it loops over. If you want to fly something really hard pulling, double the line and tie a knot in the looped end then you can tie off to both knots and you've got double strength in this case it would be a thousand pounds you can put the two knotted ends through the two looped ends if your line is long enough and just tie off then to those two knots but if your line isn't long enough or the thing you're trying to tie up to is bigger than this piece of driftwood I'm using here, you can simply use the line as it is, put it around, put the two knotted ends together and tie off to them and there you are. It's not likely to slip off. Now the lark's head knot, make a loop in the line, finger and thumb in there, double it over to make two loops, put those loops together, put the knotted end of your anchor through, pull that tight and there you are, you're all set. That's a very useful knot to use for all sorts of things. And having mastered that, you can go off with the anchor in your pocket, fly wherever you like and as long as you find something to put the loop around, you can tie your kite down without any bother at all. It's really as simple as that. Just have fun. That's the whole point of flying your kite. Have fun.